one up.
Upon a time, so very long ago, in an enchanted pinkdom, not the one that you know, there lived many lovable characters, the greatest, the best. But Little Pink Riding Hood was loved much more than the rest. He was good, he was kind, he was oh so sweet, bringing treats to his granny who was nursing sore feet. He skipped quite a lot. Uh, no one really knows why. Little Pink Riding Hood was just that kind of guy. Then there's the piggy with house made of straw, whose efforts to thwart him made big bad wolfy guffaw. <laughs> Because that clever old wolf was a gardener by trade. He fired up his leaf blower and Piggy's house was pureed. Though I don't think he planned it. He crashed the house made of sticks, leaving three frightened pigs in a house made of bricks. Well, the wolf wasn't done. No, he was hungry and mean. And he ran off to find an even bigger machine. A gigantic thing with a huge wrecking ball. He'd fricassee that house, a side of bacon for all. Uh-oh, was the thought I think that he had when the gigantic ball crashed down on his head. Little Pink Riding Hood was well on his way. Nothing could stop him from getting to Granny's this day. But what? Wait a minute. What have we here? That wolf is up to something, something awful, I fear. Three beans for the basket, I'll trade you, he crowed. But Pink Riding Hood shook his head. No, no, no. Said bye bye to the wolf and skipped off down the road. But it's not over yet. You should know that by now. A strange man in shorts showed up with a cow. But stop. Wait a minute. Those beans are possessed. That stock is gigantic. I'm really impressed. But given some thought, and it's only a hunch, I'd rather clean up after a cow than be somebody's lunch. A quaint little cottage. A sleepy golden-haired child. I know you know this one, but bear with me a while. Three bowls filled with porridge, cold, medium, and hot. <coughs> That hungry Pink Riding Hood planned to devour the lot. We changed up the story, gave a twist to the plot. There's things going on that we kind of forgot. 
So pay close attention, the story gets thicker. The wolf's probably thinking, I should have left quicker! But Pink Riding Hood just keeps skipping along, unaware that the wolf is still coming on strong. Fives Humpty Dumpty and bids him farewell, then spends just a moment with Jack and Jill by the well. But down goes that egg, he lands with a crash! No. Uh. The king's horses and men want to know, who will clean up this trash? What's next, you might ask, and you'd be right to say, hasn't that crazy old wolf done enough damage today? So I'll fill you in because I've got this itch. That the one thing we're missing in this tale is a witch. <laughs> She's not just any old witch. Nope, she's one of a kind. And she's really very unhappy with what the wolf left behind. So she hops on her broom, makes a gingerbread man. And off he goes running just as fast as he can. Pink's very happy. He's finally here with his basket of goodies for his sweet granny dear. But there is so much thunder booing outside. What's going to happen next? Keep your eyes open wide. Cause here's where the story gets really quite hairy. Granny isn't actually a granny. She's really a fairy. That wolf better watch it. She's good with that wand. With a flick of her stick, that wolf will be gone. So what lesson do we learn from this story, my friends? If you take care of your granny, you'll eat well in the end. to the Super Mega Hyper Game Show. Who's gonna play our game today? You, that's you. That's right. Come on down. Yes, you. <laughs> this is your lucky day. I said, this is your lucky day. Now come on down. Hey, thanks for popping by. But if you quit now to finish your tasty beverage, then who will win our grand prize? Well, Chuck, our winner today will receive a lifetime supply of Pickalicious Pickle Power Extreme, the delicious, nutritious power drink that will give you extreme vitality, powerful energy, and just a touch of nausea. Yes, Pickle Power, with its multitude of uses, will make your life a dream come true. Why not relax and enjoy a glass while Pickle Power Extreme handles all of your tough cleaning chores? Pickle Power Extreme, it's pickalicious. Available at all reputable hardware stores. May cause warts, moles, balding, fleas, cooties, and should not be taken with food. Enjoy Pickle Power Extreme at your own risk. Chuck, I take it you're in. Good. Oh, I almost forgot. You'll be going up against... You know him. You mock him. It's El Destructo! And his much brighter sidekick, El Destructo Jr. Let's play. 
Round one. Many great scholars have been puzzled by this famous conundrum. One plus one equals what? Take your time, contestants. This is a tricky question. <laughs> El Destructo rings in first. What is your answer, El? <laughs> oh no, that is just so wrong. It's slime time! I love this game. Round two, sumo madness! To advance to the next round, you must remove your opponent from that platform. After years of training, El Destructo's body has become a finely tuned machine. Just look at those hand moves. Designed to distract and confuse his opponent, he carefully moves in to deliver the final... Oh, wait! We've never seen this one before! That is quite a fall. Ouch, what an upset. Round three, Pugil Stick Battle-Rama! Our contestant must stay on his tower to advance to the next round. El Destructo wastes no time. Look at that combat-tested precision. What technique, what style. Our contestant should be giving up right about now. Oh, that came out of nowhere. Round four, Treadmill Mayhem! All you have to do is make it to the finish line on a tricycle to complete the task. Oh, and watch out for El Destructo and El Destructo Jr. There he goes! And there goes El Destructo! That easy chair is not gonna make his life any easier, and he better not start feeling too safe. El Destructo wants to tire this guy out, and he's not just clowning around, he's all moose to stun him in. This is not the time to be too picky, folks! <laughs> Someone please stop me! No, seriously, stop me! Well, well, our contestant sure made short work out of this obstacle course. But wait, El Destructo has one more trick up his sleeve. An elephant toss, or should I say an elephant drop? Ouch. Round five. Congratulations. You're the first to ever make it this far. But are you ready for the final challenge? The Gauntlet! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Ready? Good. Go, go, go! Let's see how he fares against the colossal Robo Badger! With El Destructo Jr. in the driver's seat, I wouldn't want to be in the challenger's shoes. For those with weak stomachs, now would be a good time to turn away. This is about to get ugly. It looks like it's all over for our courageous challenger. But wait, it's the old crayon dummy trick. Very clever. The challenger has made it this far on luck, but it will take more than luck for him to get past the pool of pain. It will take gumballs. Gumballs? Here's Junior! He's gonna wish that he stayed with those masticating crocs now that El Destructo has him in the crosshairs of his basketball cannon. Destructo is showing no mercy tonight. He's in the lane and driving for the basket. And here's Junior for the assist. That's it! I can't look! It's all over now for our challenger! All those dreams of pickle aid now dash in the arena of anguish! Oh, the humanity! What? Junior seems to have lost power to the suit! I thought I told him to plug that thing in last night! What's this? Uh-oh, <laughs> the target's been hit. No one has ever hit the target before. <laughs> You've won! 
I can't believe he won. That's not supposed to happen. We should get that fixed. Who would have thought someone would really win? No pickles were harmed during the making of this show.
Yeah! <laughs> 